In today's video, we're gonna do some mine exploring in one of the biggest gold mines in Nevada. I'm gonna teach you some geology and do some repelling and try to get into spots that nobody's been to. All that and a whole lot more coming up. All right, now we're at the most famous mine I've ever been to, which is the Del Mar site. If you don't know what that is, you look it up. And I'm out here with Joanne, who's been in this mine more than anybody, and she knows the mine like the back of her hand. And this over here, this is Christopher. You've seen him on other videos. He, and he's going to go in, and we're going to do some repelling to take a look around in there, because this thing is a monster. It's the biggest monker I've ever seen. And it was a gold mine. You got anything to add to that, Joanne, since you're the expert on this place? <coughs> Just amazing. Lots of levels, so much to see, and uh, lots and lots of mining history. All Absolutely right. jam packed with mining history. Excellent. And geology, which we're going to get. That's right. Now, have you noticed a lot of the rock around here is quartzite? And I'm going to give you a geology lesson when we get inside. So, ooh, you know what I'm going to say, huh? You better. So, come on. Let's go. You can see where. They had some timbers here, and the supports gave way, and you had a collapse here, and a lot of that outer slough material has come falling in here, but it's not a big deal. You really feel the air blowing through here, which is good, because this is a dusty mine. It was known as the Widowmaker, and I'll tell you about that later. Yeah. It's a good example of the hydrothermal alteration though that you see a lot in the quartzite. The area sits on the edge of a caldera. You see how they notch that timber? Take a look at that boy. See how I got timber sitting in there? Now, just to give you an idea, is you have a round timber, but you got it squared so that these square timbers can fit in and they lock into here. This is how you do square setting. Now, all the weight that's above my head with all this lagging, and all that waste material is held up by that much. You see that? This is only sitting on the lip of that. Right there. That's how much is actually holding it all together. And that's what they do. They sit these on these edges like that, but it was enough to hold it in place. You'll see a lot of that in this mine and some square setting. And look at these timbers. Huge monkers. You imagine lugging these things down here? Now this one still has the pencil mark on it right here where what they would do is they would cut these notches in here and then they would force this timber in. That way it would sit in there. Now what would hold it together is you would have this thing on the bottom. Remember I talked about these things? These are like hanging bolts. They would bolt that timber to this timber and by doing so it locks this in place and with this little notch this is not going anywhere. I can guarantee you that. Now sometimes what they would do is, if they didn't want to notch it, they would nail a big old piece of wood, basically circumvent having to notch it. Here's a lever. Ah. And by doing this, you could open up that ore chute right there. So ore carts would come through, usually a trammer would bring it by, open it up, pour it in, good to go. All right, enough jaw jacking, because I got more to show you, and I got geology to teach you. So come on, let's go! Yeah, it was kind of surprising. Wow, look at this. This just native. So that is juniper or shaggy it... juniper. Yeah. That's what you call native lagging. So stop lagging. Number 34. Get on live. Look at that. Juniper lagging. Oh wow. Now look at this. <laughs> He's just sitting on this little block of wood right there. See that? Luckily, there's not a lot underneath it. Or above my head, I should say. <laughs> I love these little miner's wages. Look at that. I'm afraid to tug on it because it might move. And it looks like it's supporting that guy, which is holding him back. You see that, boy? Now who in their right mind comes into a mine, as big as this one especially, and makes a fire knowing that the carbon oxide is going to hang right above their head and kill them? Maybe they don't know. Maybe that's the gene pool being weeded out. Huh? That's just insanity. 
make a fire in a mine. Now come here, look at this. You can see where a lot of the square sets, you can see their square sets by the way they've been cut. See how the tips have been cut? Now the square sets, and I've got a mountain of debris that's coming through here, and obviously we can't go through there. Not today, maybe later we'll blast our way out. But look at this, we got shafts down below. I can see a hole right here where my foot is. See that? And I got a nice little shaft right here. There's a sub-level. And this is a big bunker. I want you to see this. Because this is one of the more famous areas. I got a winds right here. They sunk this shaft down. And you can see where they had a skip car run up there. Automatically dump. The sheet wheels at the very top. Of course, it's been long removed. It would dump in there. And then they would have an ore bin, they would load that right where we were at, they would load off to the side. Now, what you're seeing here is this isn't part of the original structure. Somebody has come in here later and they've high graded this. And I can tell because they've moved the track over here. You see this? This isn't where this track belongs. This track should be right here. But they moved it over here for a little baby skip car. And this guy, well, I can see China down there. Get a good look at that, huh? What do you think about that? Yeah. You want to do some repelling down that? Ooh. -wee. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And it looks like they were hauling up mini skips and then dumping it there and then hauling it out. Which tells me there's still gold in here. And over here was the hoisting works. And you can see where it sat on these huge timbers. I'm surprised they didn't have concrete in here. And then you see this huge network of timber above my head. I mean, these guys were phenomenal in building structures. And you see the, the insulators for the cables, the electrical cables. There's three of them. That's old school. Of course, everybody's got to spray paint their name. Why do people do that, huh? I don't care if you are in here or not. Don't be spray painting your name on the walls in here. That's just ridiculous. You probably think, what, they got termites in here, don't you, huh? They say, oh, look at that. They didn't spray it with the right kind of coating. They got termites. That's where they were sticking their candles at. Boom, 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 back in the day. See all these little holes? They stuck that candle in here so many times it dug a hole in this timber. That must be 10,000 sticks. And that tells you how long they've been working in here. We're going to move on. I just wanted you to see this superstructure because it must have taken a lot not only to blast it out but to build it. Because these timbers are the real deal. Look at the size of these timbers. Imagine hauling these in. And these, some of these are one-piecers. I can't even imagine building that. And then dropping a winds into Florida. It goes down to China. All right, enough of me jaw jacking because you're probably tired of me talking. So we're going to get on to getting it on. So let's get it on. Now you think with all the money they were getting, they'd have standard timber for lagging. And it's loaded up. <laughs> yeah, I can tell it's loaded. It's got a nice bow to it. Boss, we could save money if we use natural resources. Johnson, that's a great idea. Give yourself a raise. <laughs> So they got square sets that have been block filled back in. <laughs> Cut and fill, baby. Cut and fill. Now where we want to head is that direction for just a, a second. Okay. And down there is the zigzag ladder. Okay. And then down that way quite a ways is the... Uh, Just a little baby wins. Wow, look at this. Hello. Remember I told you we could go in on one of the upper levels? Yes. Go down the chute and you pop out right there. And then we rappel down that piece of rope right there. Oh yeah, is that yours? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, that's a nice little rappel. It looks like they had uh, a main chute or a main shaft right there. That or a big ore chute. Yeah. To say. Yeah. Wow. And this so, whole this whole room would have been square set at one time, of course. Yeah, you can see where they're all wedged together here. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? 
Can you imagine what this looked like with all the square sets in place? Oh, it would have been beautiful. Oh, Child, that's fantastic. Beautiful. And so all the square sets are down there. Yeah, you'll be scrambling down, down among them here before long. Okay. So obviously the, uh, the ground has shifted and all the square sets just kind of fell in. Yeah, gave, gave up. Really? This one's fine, but that one's wobbly. Oh yeah, you can see where they were running the skip right here. If you need slack, just yell slack. Okay. Okay? Because I'm going to keep it snug. Get on down there, boy, and get some. But it's not going to... Okay. It's not really loaded. It. It's just there in case something happens, so it gives him time to get on his feet back under him. How you doing, Chris? I am great. Talk about fun. Yeah. yeah it's going to get interesting in just a couple seconds. Okay. It'll get interesting in a couple seconds. It's absolutely magnificent when you break through. All right. <laughs> that means you broke through. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I broke through. Break on through to the other side, boy. Is it big enough for you? <laughs> All right, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going into a big hole in the ground. That's what I'm doing. No, I got Joanne over here. She's going to belay me so that uh, I can make it down here with no problem. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. They say there's a whole bunch of gold down there and I'm going to find out. All right, Chris, here I come. Oh yeah, I see how you got that timber in there. Mm hmm That's pretty cool. Uh, where are you? Good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that all the way down. Uh, okay. The platform, you land on. the platform that you land on? Yeah. I don't know if I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to have to land on the platform. Did I tell you that? I guess I didn't. Oh, I like this secondary ladder over here. Yeah, it ends a little ways down. I hate to go down that ladder right there because it ends. Oh, look at that. Oh, it does have kind of like a slant to it. Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy, where's the rest of your ladder at? <laughs> oh, that's a nice shot. I like that. I thought you said there was some more ladder here. Let's take a look up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not liking this bounce too much, I tell you. <laughs> what? The, now it's going sideways? What the heck? Who made this ladder? Look at this. It goes sideways. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> All right, so I gotta jump the last ring. Good. Gotcha. Uh, All right. Nice spongy ladder. <laughs> Nothing like a ladder that curves. The curvy ladder of death. <laughs> all right. Into a big void. Oh, wow, I can see where all the square sets have collapsed right there. Oodles of wood. Look at that. All right. Oh, and there's some part of it right here. Look at that. You can see where the square sets are still intact. And they're up there on the wall. Look at that. Yeah, this place must have shifted. And they all fell in like a house of cards. That is impressive. That is a lot of lumber. That is a lot of lumber. Look at that. Man, that must have been something to have to build this too. Cribbing is where they stack it up like a log cabin. Wow, this whole chamber was filled with timber. And you can see all the timbers all down there. Let's go take a look. Ooh, look at that, Chris. You want to go down there? Heck yeah. Take a look around. <laughs> For sure. Look at that. Oh, that's just tons of timber. They're all got the same cut pattern. 
So you got lateral pressure coming in from this way and this way, so they're just pressing together. Because you're thinking, how can that possibly hold weight from the top? It can hold some weight, but it's more designed from the side. So you've got the post, you got caps, you got girts. Look at this. You imagine hauling all this wood in, setting up new ones. All right, we're going to start building up a square set right here, Christopher. I want to know where that ladder goes. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. All I got to do is jump down in there. But all these are held together with pressure, so all it takes is for, like, say that timber right there and that one to come loose, all then all this can fall forward. Wow. So it just takes something to shear off here or this to shift. Oh, look at that. And uh, it's, all, it's all over, but the crying. Wow. The sponge ladder. <laughs> that looks like it's M. Shaw approved. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Heck yeah. Ah, it's tight. Hmm. Oh, it's tight. It's tight. Why the heck they put the ladder way over there? I went back. How am I supposed to climb this with that ladder way over there? Oh, yeah, look at that. Holy cow. All right, I got haulage dots. Each dot represents a load of ore. And you can see that they were moving a lot of ore. Tons of it. An ore pass, maybe? You think it's an ore pass? Somebody's been lighting fires in here again. Are you kidding me? I like this step into oblivion. Oh, there's that Mshaw proof rope. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's see what we got here. like <laughs> Who made this crazy ladder? <laughs> see where they wedged it in there to hold the square sets in. See that? It's very important. Very important. Keep as much pressure on it as possible. Because if that goes, then this whole thing will rock forward and it'll collapse. A little bit of cribbing. Massive timbers. Well done. Going up's harder than going down. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Tell you what, it's funny, I'm reaching for that step and I can't get my leg up. So I have to pull my leg up with my, my hand. That's what I have to do every time. And you get on there and it's like, vroom, vroom. <laughs> like, come on, baby, hold one more time.